Netflix dropped the first trailer for One Piece and you guys didn't like it. Or at least that's what you guys let me know in my video that this is gonna be a horrible anime adaptation. So let's talk about it. The trailer itself was pretty short, but they gave us some massive details that are going to give us context on how the show is going to play out. By slowly introducing us to the Straw Hat crew members, we now have an idea into the show's tone, character development, and the overall structure of the narrative. Remember, Ichiro Oda was involved in the casting and story process for this adaptation, so they're trying to mirror the anime as closely as possible. Possible. I didn't personally get that many red flags when it comes to the humor because it's very similar to what I saw in those very first episodes. The big thing that surprised me was the scale. We already had insights into how big and grandiose the sets were going to be, as we already saw pictures of the Baratie and the Going Merry beforehand. In some of the scenes, you can definitely tell that there's a lot of green screen for the overall open shots, but I think that was necessary, especially when you consider that we're adapting people that ingested devil fruit powers, which means their physiology is going to be all out of whack. The biggest positive that I see is that we know exactly what they're going to cover story-wise. After showing us all of the members that we're going to see join the crew and obviously the castings that came before the trailer dropped, we know that you have to finish the East Blue Saga in order to be caught up with the show. That's roughly 44 episodes, so now that we've talked about the narrative and the tone, let's talk about the things that could have been a little bit better. The CGI discrepancies is the only area where I kind of agree with you guys. Not necessarily for the landscapes, but mostly for the powers. The gum gum pistol didn't look bad, but I'm a little bit weary about how how it's going to affect the exploration of the more larger than life characters in this show. I think we need to have a balance between CGI and practical effects in order to capture the true soul of the franchise. We don't necessarily want to see huge CGI action fests. The ideal thing is to use practical effects for the things that you can adapt and then use CGI to complement what you can't, similar to Lord of the Rings and Star Wars. Besides that though, some of your other comments are a little bit out of pocket. You can criticize the trailer all you want, but saying that the show is going to suck based off that trailer without seeing any more more footage seems a little bit whack to me. I know previous live action adaptations have had a pretty bad track record. The only good thing about Death Note, for example, was watching Willem Dafoe play Ryuk. Cowboy Bebop had the right intentions, but they botched the execution. And although Avatar The Last Airbender isn't technically an anime, that and Dragon Ball Evolution are the Shaq and Kobe of ludicrous adaptations. So if you see me happy around the internet because my favorite current anime is getting an adaptation, uh, duh, it's because I want it to be good. Knowing this also opens up a lot of other questions. For example, how are we going to cover the thousand plus episodes of the anime in this adaptation? If we're assuming Netflix is doing 10 episodes per season, that would take over 22 seasons for us to cover the entire scope of the anime so far. But obviously, that's just theoretical. My hope is that they work smarter, not harder, and make every episode in the season at least an hour, which would cut down the total amount of episodes that we have to cover. With that said, let me know, are you excited for the One Piece live action?